Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at differentiation and integration in MATLAB. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open editor and here I'm going to type in sims and then variable that I'm going to use for differentiation. Then let's make the equation. So f is equal to sine of 5 into x. Okay, and then let's display differentiation of f and let's print that out okay when I run this it should give me 5 cos of 5x okay so 5 cos 5x is the differentiation of our f value now let's take a look at another equation let's say f equals to x raised to 3 Okay, now what I want to do is I want to calculate first and second derivative for the same. So let's use display and then diff equation and then call for f. This is our first derivative. Then we are going to display diff, then f, and then second so that should take care of second derivative okay now I'm gonna run this and find out value of first and second derivative you can keep going with third fourth and depending on how many orders you want but for this equation I think first two level of derivatives are enough so let's run this and you get that 3x raised to 2 as first derivative and 6x as second derivative. So you get the idea of how to calculate your second derivative in your differential equation. Now we can also form partial differentiation differential equation. So let's have our sims to check for x and then t. So if I create one equation, let's say f equals to sine of x into t, then we can simply use display function to find out differential of f with respect to t. Okay, so let's run this and find out. So this will be our partial differential equation. Okay, so we get x cos t into x okay so now that we have taken a look at differentiation second derivative and also partial differential equation so let's take a look at simple example of how to find out integration so for that let's say I create one equation f equals to x into x okay and then I use display method then call for int method which is for integration and close it now if I run this then I can find out the integration of my equation f so let's run this and you get x raised to 3 by 3 so you get the idea of how to find out derivatives second derivative then partial differential equation and finally integration